good afternoon and good morning and good evening i'm just today just wanted to, to do things you know out of order even though uh, the purpose of today's video it is about order actually after all in today's video we're gonna be listing 10 essential items that you as a tourist you may need the moment you arrive in cape town especially if you're coming from overseas um, because you know everywhere you go there's always those things that you wish um, you knew before you even came here yeah, and especially when it comes to packing things or actually how things work the moment you get into the country so without any further ado let's start the video so the number one item actually that you're gonna need um, especially in Cape Town and especially if you travel here um, between the, um, the spring and summer months between September and October and all the way up until May the Cape Town sun can be hot. I mean, extremely hot all the way up to 30 to 35 degrees. And this is actually <laughs> how much it is um, in Fahrenheit um, for those of you who need Fahrenheit. So obviously the most obvious thing that you're actually going to need the moment you arrive in Cape Town is a sunscreen. You know, Cape Town has a Mediterranean climate with hot summers. So a sunscreen with high SPF is essential to protect your skin from harmful UV rays. Okay, now moving on to the second one, potential thing, well, after the sunscreen, when it's nice and hot outside, is you'll definitely need a water bottle. Um, so you can actually either bring one from where you're coming from, or you can actually buy one the moment you arrive. It's important actually to stay hydrated in the hot weather and carrying a reusable water bottle is an eco-friendly option. Um, also, again, just as a side note, um, it is actually completely safe to drink tap water in South Africa, especially in Cape Town. So please um, do not be afraid. So if you're really thirsty and you need to, if you want to drink water, um, actually tap water is actually quite safe to drink. So, and now on to the third one. Basically, you know, you're carrying all these electronics. Um, they all need to be charged up. So the next actually item that you're gonna be need, which is essential, um, is basically a type M plug, which is a South African plug. As you can see here, it has the three points. Uh, almost look like a, a different version of the British one, but you know, this one was rounded. Uh, it's the tape M plug. So like the South African uses the type M plugs, which are different from those used in many other countries. So a travel adapter will allow you to use your electronic devices without any issues. Um, another action thing that you need to remember is that thus in South Africa, the electricity frequency is 50 hertz. Like most other countries, I think actually it's the US and a few countries that uses a 60 hertz frequency. Um, and also our voltage is at 220 volts. But again, luckily in this day and age, actually most electronic devices are able to cope with anything between 100 all the way to 220 volts. And they can actually even switch in between the 50 and uh, 60 volts. So yeah, again, there's no need to worry about that. But if you're using a very old or a very precious device, please make sure that you're using the right type of a charger or charging brick, um, just to make sure that it can cope with the different voltages you know, and frequencies. So, yeah, and then obviously, <laughs> so now with the fourth item basically is that Cape Town has many hills and outdoor activities. So shoes, especially comfortable shoes like sneakers are essential in the city um, because you'll be doing quite a lot of walking around as you're exploring Cape Town and again, being on the road. <laughs> So moving on to number five, you'll need an insect repellent, you know, um, especially in summer, mosquitoes and other insects can be quite a nuisance, especially during the hot summer months. So an insect repellent will help to keep them at bay, um, you know, just to make sure that you're enjoying Cape Town basically with showing a little bit of skin as you're walking around. And then moving on to item number six, you'll definitely need a hat. So, you know, a wide brimmed hat will protect your face and your neck, you know, from the sun's rays and keep you cool. Um, especially if you at the beach or you're just walking outside, this is also will make sure that you get, you don't get any skin burns. Okay. And now moving on to lucky number seven. That's actually my favorite number or my lucky number number seven so basically <laughs> here you will definitely need a light jacket or a sweater because Cape Town especially in the evenings can get chilly so it's always a good idea to bring a light jacket or a sweater with you in the bag just in case it gets windy or a bit chilly and especially if you're around the beach area or the waterfront and number eight <laughs> 
exactly okay this one is like literally a very basic one that you'll definitely need a, you to bring your camera um it can either be a phone so if you bring your phone please make sure that um your phone is adequate space because you'll be taking quite a lot of pictures and videos because again cape town is a beautiful city with many scenic spots so don't forget to bring a camera to capture those unforgettable moments especially when you go back so you can relieve your times on the road in cape town Ah, uh, man, you never know. Maybe with Luando. Okay, so now, number nine. So, basically, um, here, you'll definitely need something where you're going to put all, everything in it. So, a backpack or a day pack, basically, is perfect for carrying your essentials while exploring the city. Also, if possible, please make sure that you have a backpack where it's um, some of those secured ones, where someone who's walking behind you cannot easily just open your bag. In case, for example, you meet pickpocketers, such as very unlikely, but yeah, you just never know. Again, always be vigilant wherever you are. And again, last but not least, you need to obviously um, bring your cash or debit cards. So make sure at least you have a little bit of cash, especially if you want to pay something like, for example, on the streets, because as some street vendors might not have, for example, your electronic devices to capture your payments, so they might need cash. Or for example, you want to tip um, at the restaurant or wherever that you are, but please do not carry any large amounts of cash. South Africa is actually quite, we use quite a lot of electronic payment systems so definitely you'll never lack any wherever you go basically especially in restaurants or shops um, they all do accept cards um, again please be mindful if you're using a, uh, an American Express or Diners cards some merchants actually do not accept those so please be mindful um, when it comes to that one and again a bonus one and <laughs> another thing that you actually need to bring in Cape Town basically is your smile you no know, because when you're here you'll meet some of the friendliest people you'll ever meet wherever you've been so yeah you just need to be smile and respectful and definitely literally enjoy your time so yeah if you have enjoyed this list um you know what to do please make sure that you like this video it definitely does help a lot to make sure that it reaches other people and obviously to subscribe so that you do not miss any of the content that I'll be bringing to you as there are a couple of more episodes that are coming um, almost on a weekly basis but yeah please stay tuned and stay safe um, yeah by the way we are on hashtag road 200 we currently at the moment at the time of the recording of this video we're sitting at 59 subscribers and again to all 59 of you thank you very 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 much and you know also just a special shout out to <laughs> some of the people actually who've made this channel possible you know like the manakeles um you know they've been pushing me a lot um Lumisa out there um and then also um <laughs> By literally, I think my first view actually from outside of the South African shores, if I'm correct, I don't know, because I don't know how many, I, I, I don't see um, yet to has viewed this video, but here, you know, um, at Fiona's Life. So yeah, if you can actually do follow them, I'll actually mention their uh, channels on the description below. So yeah. That's actually a list of essential things that you will need um, the moment actually you land in Cape Town. And yeah, you know, I hope this list was quite helpful and that um you can you can actually make use of it and that it will only it will help you actually not just when you're traveling to cape town but you know everywhere that you go that some things are not a matter of a want but it's a need to have um, when you're doing your travels um, so yeah so my question basically for you this week is um have i forgotten anything on this list and that i think is actually quite vital um for when you're traveling again not just in cape town but anywhere else um, that you travel around the world. I'd like to hear from. I'd like to hear from you in the comment section. Uh, so once again, have a good morning, have a good afternoon, and have a good evening, depending on when you watch this episode. Cheers.